Hello guys and welcome back. Today I am testing out all the products I picked up during the Sephora sale and I picked up quite a lot of things. I realized there's so many lip products that I'm obviously not going to be able to try them all on but I'll swatch a few things here and there and I'm excited. So grab yourself something to drink, hang out with me and let's get started. So for a base, I picked up the House Labs wide foundation. I'm not going to test this out. This is just more to mix in products, but I do have two base products, the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter, and then the Super Goop Protect Tint thing, SPF 50. So I've played with both of these. Honestly, I've played with most of the products here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the Dior Forever just test it out on one side of my face and then I'm going to wipe it off and put the SPF on because I've noticed that I've tried to combine them and play with them and because of that I haven't gotten a good idea how each of these wear separately so I just thought that this would be wiser. I bought the Dior Forever Glow, what is the name of this? Star Filter in the shade three and I will say I don't really have a tan at all on but usually I do so if anything looks a little bit darker on me it's because I am considering being tan and summer's coming so usually I, I go a little bit deeper with my foundations but the shade three works beautiful I'm not sure how much you guys are going to be able to tell but um, I've been wearing this product for a little bit. I have a lot of little pigmentation and bruising on my face. I have pigmentation here. This is a bruise. Some bruising going on here. Bruise here. That's from Jujitsu. Okay. <laughs> it's normal in our family now. But um, I think that what this does is that... It gives a beautiful radiance to my skin. It is not as intense as the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless, which I'm very thankful because I feel like with this, I could wear it by itself, almost like a um, glowy primer moisturizer that's not too metallic. And so I feel like it even blurs my skin a little bit because that just kind of gives the illusion of a smoother, more moisturized skin. And because it has the slightest tint, that also helps with making it look a little bit more even. I really, really like this product. I have tested this out by itself or mixed with other foundation, but the Super Goop, I haven't tested out by itself. So I just wanted to kind of show you how beautiful this is also you can wear this on top as a highlighter i've done that before just kind of dotted but i think it is a beautiful product probably my favorite out of all these base illuminators like the charlotte tilbury even the elf i think the coverage is a little bit lighter the glow is a little bit softer and so it's easier to wear it day by day and i think it's just a little bit more refined than all the other ones so for me this is a huge hit and i do like the shade three a lot i would not go any lighter with this okay let's move on to super goop i think what i'm gonna do is actually leave half of my face with a dior half without because that way we can really test this out i will say i have so many products and this makeup is not gonna be i would say the cutest makeup ever <laughs> Just because I have such random products, I have so many different blushes and I just want to put it all on my face. I am skipping the Natasha Denona Hygen Skincare Infused Glow Beautifier because that's not from the Sephora sale and I kind of want to test that out on its own. So the Super Goop is in the shade 24N and it is so tiny but when I looked at the ounces it is 1.18 so definitely more than your regular one ounce so that's great because this was pretty expensive $44 I'm going to double check yes it is $44 it has really good reviews this is supposed to be a light medium neutral so I am gonna show you how it looks like this is kind of the tone hopefully you can see no, swatch it actually right here. 
the thing is with this is that it is such light coverage that the, the shade matters to an extent, but not too much. <laughs> so I'm just going to add it on this side so you guys can see. I definitely would use fingers with this. It's kind of almost like a cream. So fingers works best in my opinion. And I have worn this a few times. So let me give you my initial thoughts. I like the product. I thought I wouldn't like it because I've seen personally some reviews saying that it is peeling and it doesn't work well with the skin. I have no issues with that. I also read that maybe it's a little bit drying. Again, no issues with that. It gives a nice finish to the skin, but it's almost too light of a coverage for me. Even though I do enjoy a lighter coverage in general, I find myself wanting to kind of cover more than this can cover. And even if I add and try to build up the coverage, it doesn't really give me more coverage. For example, the Lisa Eldridge one, I'm really loving it so much. I will have a wear test on that coming up probably next week just because the Sephora sale interfered with my plans for the videos. But with that one, I feel like I can build up the product a little bit more. And with this one, no matter how much I put on, like I'm going to try to build it up even more here, I still get that like light coverage sheer, which is pretty. I'm not saying it's not, you know, a lot of people, that's exactly what they need. I would expect this to be such a great summer, almost beach little thing because it gives a slight tint um but it's not heavy at all it feels like a moisturizer to be honest and the finish it's luminous but it's not too much it's not like their spf like the the glow spf it's not like that um this is definitely like softer a uh, natural luminous finish i would say this is the Dior one. You can kind of see the highlighter through. And this is without it. Gosh, my bruises. <laughs> now they don't even look like bruises anymore. They just look like patches. I like this. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Again, you need to make sure that you understand that this has light coverage. But I like a light coverage. Kind of skin tint. I feel very comfortable wearing this with nothing on just to kind of even out my skin, pretty much like an SPF. The other thing that I want to mention is that it wasn't very blurring. So this isn't a product that I put on and I think, oh, it's going to kind of smooth out my skin and blur. I don't see that at all with it. It's just kind of just there. Okay. So for example, if we compare it to the CL one, this one also has SPF 50, a lot more coverage. The finish is a little bit more noticeable. It just kind of evens out your skin a lot more. This one is just lighter. So for me, I, I think there's nothing wrong with it. It's actually really nice. I like the way it feels on the skin, but maybe for what I want, mostly now that I have a lot of little spots around my face, I feel like it's just a little bit too little coverage for me. Don't get me wrong, I am gonna get my use out of this one. I'm gonna actually put it in my bathroom. That way, whenever I'm done with my skincare in the morning, I can just apply this. It's extra SPF. I think it's gonna make me feel a little bit more put together, just a little bit more evenness. And so it's very no makeup makeup kind of tint. For concealer, I actually picked up the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Custard. Wow, it has been a very long time since I used this one. And I actually have a lot to cover right now. I wonder if this is going to be a little light for me right now. I couldn't remember what shade I used to be in this concealer. Again, I have so many little imperfections and dots and spots. I feel like I usually don't struggle with this, but it is what it is. Should we even bother adding a little bit here? I guess. Okay. Now I picked up the hourglass brushes and then this is the smaller one, the dual ender one, the powder one. And this is supposed to be for their smaller palettes, like the six pan ones. And that makes a lot more sense because it's smaller and fits perfectly. 
um, but I actually like the this side, not the smaller side, but this for creams, even contour, bronzer, obviously concealer. I think it just is a great brush. And this is blending in a very, very nicely. I like it. I did pick up another Sephora brush, the highlighter brush, I'll show you in a little bit. And I also picked up a couple of body care products. I picked up the Youth to the People body wash and body moisturizer. I also picked up the Charlotte Tilbury lip plumpers. I've worn them for a couple of days now. And then these two products, I forgot to mention my daily cleaner. I restocked on that. And this one from Soft Service, this is a calming gel exfoliant. This was definitely influenced by Sandra. She is on Instagram and on YouTube. She did her little haul and mentioned how much she loved this one. This is 10% AHA. And I have a lot of little bumps and my legs aren't like super smooth like I would want to. And she was talking about how this made a huge difference. So I picked that one up as well. And I think, I think that's it. Ooh, I completely forgot. I picked up more blush. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got a Give Dewy Plump Cheek Tint. This is in the shade Bouquet. And then another, say, color. This is in the shade Chili. I am loving the same blushes. I think they're my favorite um, liquid formula blushes. And this color looked absolutely stunning. That is the color. I don't think I'm gonna try this one on just because I, I know the formula. But that color looks like it would be a beautiful, perfect, just like cold cheeks vibes, like you're chilly. Um, so I'm very excited about that. But I also got the Give Cheek Tint. I actually got this today because I forgot that she came out with these. I've kind of seen them, or like I've seen on Treadmoon maybe that she was gonna come out with it. And this color looked beautiful. It's, I guess, the most neutral one. She had some beautiful, uh, more peachy colors as well that looked stunning. But I kind of wanted to go with this one because I did swatch it in store and look like a beautiful pink. Okay, so this one's definitely a little bit more pink and bright than the color Chili from Stay. But we're going to try that in just a little bit. First, the CL Sculpt and Protect SPF 30. I have this in the shade Medium and I have tested this out already. And I mentioned that I didn't love the packaging. I felt like it was cheap and it is cheap um this i think is 34 dollars if i'm not mistaken and i really wanted to test it out before this video and the formula is very interesting because it's much thicker than i thought it would be it is almost not pomade but it's just thick and i was a little bit skeptical in the beginning but i also show you here it does blend in really really nice look at that like you don't have to work too too hard for it i also really like the tone shade medium i think it's perfect and so i really do enjoy the product look at that he blended in really nicely it's definitely pigmented so you don't want to over apply you can kind of slowly build up the product i was expecting this to be maybe a little bit thinner but it's definitely a little bit like thicker and not sticky but maybe harder but it does blend in really really nicely and what I've noticed with this is that because of that texture it does last a long time at the end of the day I'll still still have it on and I was scared again that maybe it'll lift foundation because the texture is a little bit um unexpected but I have had no issues. I've tried to use my brush and then go in and swipe it like I'm doing right now. And I did not have any issues with it lifting anything under or not blending out. You guys can see. Even if you have more oily skin, I think this would be a product that could work for you. Because it kind of sets down. Now, it's a little bit around my lips. Right here to contour use my finger to blend in and then around my nose and I thought okay around my nose maybe it's gonna lift up some of the product but it didn't so 
all is well. Now you can definitely build this up and have it a little bit more intense, but I have another bronzer powder from House Labs to test out, so I'm gonna be sparing with this. Okay, next, I have a few blushes. I have the Dior blush, I have the Give Beauty, I have the House Labs Pomelo Peach. I think I'm gonna skip on this one because it's not really a new shade or formula, and I think I've used it in my last video. Let's start with Give Beauty, okay? We're gonna do it on one cheek and see. Okay, I'm gonna take a brush and quickly blend this in. Ooh, I like the color, it's pretty. I love these like cream products that are softer yet still very blendable. This says it's a stain, so I'm hoping that it'll last a long time. Okay, that is beautiful. But is that the Dior underneath or is it the, the blush? We don't know yet. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more to see. It's a very easy to blend in, so don't be scared that it's too intense. It's actually very easy. Let's add a little bit here. Oh, but we do have the Dior. Hmm. I'm gonna have to show you in a different video just how it looks by itself. Although I think I did wear it in one of the videos. I can't remember. But I will for sure put it on top of this. So, okay. This still has a luminosity to it. Maybe not quite as much as here. And here is just a sunspot, okay? That's not foundation being picked up. I just want to remind everybody in case you think that um, it's splotchy. It's just my my skin that has some sun damage there. Okay, I like this. I think it's really beautiful. I really like the color. I think it's a very pretty bright color without being too much. And I like the finish of the blushes. Okay, Okay, I like that. Let's try the Rosy Dior Forever Glow Maximizer. Now this I have used quite a lot because I am loving the finish of this blush. A thing that I would like to mention is that I was shocked how long lasting this blush was on me. I use it as a blush. I don't necessarily use it as a topper. It's pigmented enough, as you can see. Like that was without the Dior blush on top. And the glow is intense. And I will make sure to kind of wear it on its own as well in a future video, just so you guys can see it. I should have thought about that before. But I love this so much because First of all, it's easy to apply. It has a beautiful glow, but the glow, it has almost like a shift in it. And it just makes my cheek look so smooth and glowy, not necessarily emphasizing texture, which is a big thing. I'm just taking the foundation brush or the concealer brush to blend in the edges. Again, we're gonna put powder in this area, but okay. It is a really pretty finish. It's not as intense as the Rare Beauty kind of blush highlighter duo that just came out. I reference that a lot because I feel like a lot of people are comparing these two products. I prefer this over the Rare Beauty. I think it, there's something a little bit more special to it. It's not emphasizing my pores as much as the Rare Beauty is. It just looks so beautiful on the skin. I can wear it on its own. I think it's pigmented enough for my skin tone. Yeah, look at that. I am, it's just gorgeous. It truly, truly is. I want to use the powder and then we're gonna put a little bit more bronzer from House Labs, but the new Hourglass powder, I got mine in the shade Translucent and it's sold out. I'm sorry, guys. Um, I really hate using it when you can't get it, but I'm sure that it's gonna come back in stock. Other stores are gonna have it. Now, I've used this. I've used it every single day since I bought it, and it's gorgeous. It is gorgeous, guys. Let's just take a little bit. I'm using my hourglass, like, fluffy brush. And that's how I like to, to use it. I've never used this little thing, but I bet you could. Let's just start on the chin. So this is a very smooth, 
light powder. I have tried to build this up over and over again just to see if it ever gets cakey and I've never had it look cakey. I use it under my eyes. I use it right here on the forehead. I could bathe in it and it never looks heavy. I mean, can you guys th tell how smooth this side is? Like my pores are blurred. It's it's incredible, yet I don't see any powder. I mean, I'm looking up really, really close and I see no powder. This truly is magic. It's probably the best powder, mostly pressed, that I've ever, ever tried. I've tried Sicily, I've tried La Mer, I've tried them all. And this, to me, is my favorite out of all of them. It's kind of like no powder powder, but it does have all those blurring properties, smoothness, radiance to an extent. The color translucent is pretty much translucent. I don't really see it on the skin. And I just keep wanting to bathe myself in it, just putting it all over because I think it has such a beautiful finish. Now, I am not very oily. I'm actually normal to dry skin. So if you all need a powder to keep all your oils in at bay, I don't know if this is gonna be for you because it's softer, but it is, wow. It is so, so flattering. And in person, I mean, it looks, it looks fantastic, truly does. I am kind of shocked. I was about to restock my Charlotte Tilbury powder for the under eyes and i am so glad i didn't because i like this one so much better the only thing i don't love is that the packaging is so big because they give you this little puff here i probably should try with this it's kind of soft but because of that it's harder to carry with me if you are thinking of pat mcgrath for example powder this is softer than that it's 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 a little bit my daughter needed something and i can't remember what i was saying oh the the pat mcgrath that one it's it's a little bit more intense of a powder this is truly invisible like it is perfect for somebody who has dry skin i think it is created for us um and again if you have oily skin let us know if this works for you but wow i feel like that just made my complexion look 10 times better this is 10 out of 10 for me i'm gonna pick up probably the other two lighter shades whenever they come back in stock because the translucent is really nice i would love the pink one for under the eyes to brighten it up and then the medium one i think that that would be good for kind of all over the skin i'm just curious about them i haven't seen them in store so i wasn't able to swatch them but um this will definitely be in my everyday everyday bag and i will go through this quickly i know it absolutely gorgeous again 10 out of 10 for me. Okay, a little bit more of a bronzer, the House Labs. This is shade six, and I'm gonna take my hourglass brush. I really like the bronzer side of this, or the fluffy side. And let's just bronze up a little bit more. I really like the tone of this bronzer. Did I swatch it for you guys? Okay, so that's that's the tone of it. It's maybe a little bit more olivey like i feel like if you have olive skin tone you would really like this one i enjoy this this color i think it's really beautiful and i have the shade four as well which is a little bit light for me right now so i'm very excited to have to have this shade i can kind of take it down and blend everything in i even take this on my eyelids i did pick up the um, give beauty sparkle toppers but i don't think i picked up any other eye product so i don't have um any powders to use on my eyes i'm just gonna use this so i picked up this sephora brush this is a 98 it's the highlighter brush okay i sprayed it and cleaned it a little bit you should probably wash these before you use them but do as i say not as i do okay this is the house labs blood no the highlighter i feel like we were quite highlighter today but why not add a little bit more and i'm going to use this brush i really like how tiny this is 
I honestly picked it up for concealer and blending it in because I like a bigger fluffy brush or for powder, but let's try it for what's intended. I feel like this has been popular for a while and lately I've heard a lot more people talking about it. And a lot of you guys mentioned that it is one of your most used product. And I thought, why not give it a chance? It really is so smooth. You can build up the pink. I'm trying to be gentle with that because I don't want it to be too pink. But it really is a beautiful product. I skipped on this initially just because I didn't want it to be too pink. My highlighters, I like them to be more of a peachy tone. I don't like them gold. Um, if I would have to choose between gold and pink, I would go with pink, but my perfect tone would be something a little bit more peachy. And I've seen a lot of people loving this and for good reason. It is a very smooth. I'm actually interested in a couple other shades, the more peachy shades. <laughs> um, I think that it would be beautiful. I like that it's not too intense you can definitely build it up, but it's still very smoothing on on the cheek definitely worth the hype absolutely i'm bringing the highlighter kind of on the top of my cheeks and i don't find it enhancing my texture it's really really beautiful guys okay i'm loving that but because we're extra we're going to take some more powder and kind of calm this down here oh so beautiful there's something in this powder. Um, and remember, I don't really have a ton on my base. This gives extremely light coverage. So, you know, I feel like I'm putting a lot of extra product on top of a base that's not, not even light medium coverage. It's just light. I usually like to keep it kind of very, very minimal when I wear something like this. So with this makeup, I would reach for a little bit more of a medium coverage because I'm just adding so many products on top. But again, this is just for the video. Adding a little bit more of the blush, whatever's left over here. And yeah. It's really pretty guys, I love it. Okay, uh, the next product I'm gonna use is this one size On Till Dawn Mattifying Waterproof Setting Spray. I've used it maybe a couple of times and this is intense. It will definitely set your face and make it last all day, so. It's definitely scented, so if you don't like scent, this is not for you but I actually quite enjoy the smell. It reminds me of my childhood. Okay, I'm gonna do my brows real quick because I don't think I picked up anything for the brows. Ooh, actually, no. Let's do the eyes first. For the eyes, I picked up the Give Beauty The Sparkle Toppers. I wore the color Glimmer in my last video, so I'm not gonna wear that, but I will swatch them all for you. Here I swatched them. Hopefully you guys can see some of this. First of all, we have the, I think this is Glamour, right? Let me double check. Glimmer, <laughs> Glimmer, which has more of a gold shimmer. Twinkle, this has more of a taupey, silvery sparkle through it. I think there's some some gold through it too. Yeah, this is beautiful. And then Dazzle is more of a peachy shade. I'm gonna start with the Dazzle all over the lid and maybe add a little bit of Twinkle in the center. So I don't know if I showed you guys, but it just has some little holes and you tap the product. Not a ton comes out, so I wouldn't be too worried about this going everywhere. Like I really have to tap, but this color, ooh, it's gonna be a kind of one and done soft everyday shimmer for the eyes. It's more refined than I expected. Not to say that Give Beauty is not refined. I'm just saying that the vibe of the brand is a little bit more out there, more fun colors or reds. And I was expecting this to be maybe a little bit too intense, but no, it is so smooth, so beautiful. This is gonna be an everyday shadow for me. I know it. And with just a bronzer in the crease, it's gonna be perfect. And you can definitely have more of a wash of this color or more intense. I'm trying to build it up a little bit so the camera 
can pick pick it up, but it's stunning. And I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush and kind of work the product in and blend it, blend it in here. So this is Dazzle, and I think it is so, so beautiful. More like soft peachiness. There's nothing too intense about it. Obviously, when I put mascara on, you're gonna definitely see it pop against the black, but that is so beautiful. But now I wanna show you Twinkle right in the center. This may be my favorite, just because it's a little bit more taupey gives a little bit more intensity to the eye. The other one is I think a more everyday wearable. This one you can see how it just made it pop. You do not need all the colors, okay? Pick just one that you enjoy. I would say Dazzle is the most wearable everyday. Probably most people are gonna love that. This is a little bit more sparkly, a little bit more intense. You guys know I love that. So I'm gonna put a little bit right here. I am nice and sparkly right now. Because I use my fingers, I don't have a ton of fallout, which is quite surprising. So th these, I expected them to be much messier, but they really are not because not a ton of product comes out when you flip it upside down. So I don't think you should be worried about the packaging getting too messy. I actually use the cap and work off the cap. Let's curl these lashes a little bit. I do have the Dior primer, mascara primer. So I'm gonna do one eye with and one eye without. So this is the Dior Show Maximizer 3D. And some of you guys said that this is your favorite product and it helps with longevity on, of the mascara with the curl. And so you also mentioned put it on and then put mascara right after. So I'm gonna do that. Either way, I'm doing one eye with, one eye without. I have worn this the other day, but I didn't do one eye with, one eye without. And I thought my mascara stayed on really well. I thought it just looked nice, but I kinda need to do a side by side to really test out the claims. We're gonna add my Jones Road mascara. I love this mascara so much. Did not love it in the beginning, I thought it was a little bit too wet, but once it dries down a little bit, it's fantastic. So let's add the mascara. And I think this is gonna be a product that I'm gonna have to update you on and tell you how it wore throughout the day and all that. So if I'm gonna love it, it's gonna be in a favorites. If not, you shall know, <laughs> because I'm not gonna add it in a favorites. But I like the way the mascara goes on top of it. I think it's really, really nice. Let me finish putting the mascara on in the brows and then we'll move on to the lips. Here is how the mascara looks like on both eyes. This is with a primer and without, I put two coats on each side. And I think they both look good, but I do think the one that has the primer, it's a little bit more fanned out and not clumpy at all. I don't know if you guys can tell. I try not to comb through them and do anything. Um, so I feel like there is a slight difference. This looks just a little bit more feathery um, and almost combed through. But I think for me, the reason I picked this one up is more for longevity and seeing if this makes my, my mascara smudge less because I have a big issue with all my mascara smudging on the lower lashes. So I don't know, I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know. For the lips, I have so many lip products, I will not be able, there's no way I could um, review all of them. But I did repurchase my iconic nude lip liner. This is my old one. So I just use this one right now to line my lips. Wow. Let me look through my Sephora orders because I don't even remember how many lip products I ordered. Okay. So we have the plumping Charlotte Tilbury lip thing. I got both colors because I initially got the fair medium. Is this it? Here they are both. So I have the fair medium. Loved it so much. I'm just going to put it on for you guys to see. Loved it so much that I went in for the deeper one. So these, 
definitely have a plumping sensation. I will say the deeper one has a more stronger plumping sensation than the lighter one. So this one is the Fair Medium. It is so juicy. And the one thing that I've noticed is that it removes any lines on my lips. Like my lips look like I just got filler or something. They look so, so smooth. And so I wore this the other day all day. I applied throughout the day only twice, which is not much when you have such a glossy look. And I liked how long they lasted. So I'm going to show you the deeper one as well. So the deeper one it definitely has a little bit more pigment. And I don't know which one I like better. I thought the lighter one first, but now after having this one, this one's easy without a lip liner. Like I could wear this by itself and don't need a lip liner because it does have more pigment to it. So let me add a little bit here. Here is the deeper shade and I already feel it plumping. This one's so much more intense than the lighter one. Dang. And it gets worse within five minutes. So like those five minutes, they're getting pretty plumpy. And I've seen a difference on like how they look. I don't know if it actually plumps them, but the glossiness, the smoothness of it makes your lips look huge. I mean, like look at my lips. <laughs> I feel like a little duck right now. I really like them. I don't mind the plumpiness. It's not like that hot burning feeling. I remember watching Charlotte's review on these and she said it's more of an icy uh, plumping effect and that's what it is. So I prefer that, but it's still pretty plumping. It does go away eventually, but it's there. So if you don't like plumping, no, you're not gonna like it. Also the packaging, I know a lot of people love it. You know, I like that it's chubbier, but it's not my favorite packaging. It feels like something my kids would absolutely love. I like something a little bit more simple, more sleek. Um, it's just a little bit much for me. So it's not my favorite packaging, but I love the product. Oh, I don't even want to take this off. It's so beautiful, but we have to. Let's try a few other ones. I also picked up the Huda Beauty lip ones. I've already shown you these before, but I'm just going to try the color Honey for you just so you can see how it looks like. This is a color I wanted from the beginning. I like more peachy tones when it comes to glosses in this. Oh, I like that one so much. It's beautiful. This is like a true gloss. It's not plumping. I don't notice anything. Oh, definitely not now after these. <laughs> nothing, nothing feels plumping, but I really like the formula. I have the baby pink one. I have the clear one, which I think it's going to be really nice. This is my favorite color though. This is called Honey. Why not? Let me show you the Ole Hendrickson. Let's do the strawberry one. I think this is the most popular one and I really like the color. This is so glossy and it's a little thicker than some of my other lip treatments or balms. And I think it's my favorite out of all the ones I have because it lasts so long. It's not sticky at all. It's just a little thicker, so it's more long lasting. Look at that, wow. I tried the color Coco the other day and it was beautiful. I also have their just clear one, beautiful. And I think the last one I wanna try for you guys is this one right here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk Fair. So let's do that last. So I also got the Jisoo lip oil. I just have to show you, okay. Let's just do it. Since I've pretty much tried everything, this has more sparkle to it. And the scent, awful, awful scent. But I love the way it looks on the lips. Yeah, that's pretty. But again, not my favorite scent. It's not so bad that I wouldn't use it, but it's it's not great. Now let's move on to the Pillow Talk Fair. 
This is the color right here. Let me get the Pillow Talk original. Here are the colors side by side. This is the original Pillow Talk. I love it. I love it. It's in the matte formula. And this is the fair one and it is in the kissing formula. And I love this color. Let me show you. So I put it in the center and just blend it out. I am actually quite surprised that I like this because I don't tend to love such light pinks, but there's something in the undertone that I think is makes it look so flattering. I like this one better than Icon Baby. Let me swatch that one. I really have to end this video because we have guests coming over, but this is Icon Baby and this is like the Pillow Talk Fair. So I like this one better in the center of the lip. I like the undertone. It's just a beautiful shade and I'm quite surprised I like it because seeing it swatched in online and in store just looking at the bullet, I was like, mm, that's a little bit too pink for me, but in person, I think it's stunning. This is the finished makeup look, pretty much full face of all new products. And I really like everything. There's definitely things that I enjoy more than others, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will for sure give you updates probably in a month's time or just maybe in a favorites video on what worked, what didn't, and also give you updates on some of the body products that I picked up and the scents, candle, things like that. I think that that would be wise to kind of give you an update. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.